flags up, flags down, and they're off in the Teesside Audi Open maiden race to complete 2019 at Hutton Rugby. And just Jerry in orange, one of the first ones over, and a slither at the first from Good Rhythm, but keeping the partnership intact, Joe Williamson, as they move on at pace towards number two. Bell Ringer up there with just Jerry as they go on swiftly towards the second with Alan Gear completing the front three. Also in the mix there, we've got Glassy Lawn and Dipsophobia as they go over that. Alan Gear came to the front that time, taking it in last position with Secret Pattern and they move on now towards number three, which is the fence at the far end and Alan Gear leading Bell Ringer, Just Jerry and Glassy Lawn as they make their way over the third. And taking it now, they all appear to be over it. Another slow jump by Good Rhythm in the penultimate position. Secret Pattern is in last position under Ross Wilson and they swing left-handed now towards the fourth and make their way along the back for the first occasion. Sam Klug and Alan Gear, three lengths to Just Jerry and uh, Bell Ringer. Bell Ringer and Just Jerry second and third. Then Glassy Lord followed by Artiero in yellow and blue as they stream over the fourth. On the inside of these then we've got Hall Garth in front of East Wing and Tom Strawson in red sleeve showing to the outside as they move on down the back. Here's the fifth, Erica's Dream in a midfield sit from Dipsophobia and after those is Flamingo Lane in purple, two or three lengths then to Good Rhythm as they cross over that one, a slightly slow jump that time by East Wing and taking it in last position, Secret Pattern. So a fair run before number six and it's Alan Gear to Bell Ringer, one of the outsiders in the field, then just Jerry and Glassy Lord who would make it a clean sweep for the favourites today in the yellow jacket. After those, Will Milburn and Artiero in fifth place, handy on the outside of Impulsive Act and Hall Garth, and then Flamingo Lane as they make the turn towards the sixth. This will be the last in two circuits. Alan Gear was slow. Bell Ringer was over in second place. Uh, equal third, just Jerry on the inside of Glassy Lawn and Artiero, and they're the front five. Within sixth place, impulsive act as they make the turn past the bookies. Wide on the outside, the red sleeves of East Wing showing on the outside of Paul Garth and Flamingo Lane and Dipsophobia, which is the fear of alcohol. On the outside of Flamingo Lane, and then after these, Erica's Dream followed through on the outside by Good Rhythm, and last of the party is Secret Pattern as the field make their way around the next turn. All 13 still standing as they go towards number seven, a plain fence before the ditch. Alan Gear to Bell Ringer, Just Jerry, one, two, and three, with Glassy Lawn in fourth place in front of Impulsive Act and Flamingo Lane, and out to the left again there, Alan Gear. And a mistake by Dipsophobia, steadying the ship here, Sam Clug at the ditch, but again out to the left, Alan Gear. Bell Ringer over in second place, Dipsophobia made a slight mistake, Secret Pattern remained in last place, and they swing right-handed now towards the next. Number nine coming up, Alan Gear, Bell Ringer, Just Jerry, the first three for most of the first part of this contest with Dipsophobia close up. A glass, uh, glassy lawn there as well as they take that. And a quite slow jump that time by Secret Pattern. So we move on now towards number 10. This will be halfway in the jumping in this Teesside Audi Open Maiden. Alan Gear and Bell Ringer remain the two at the head of affairs as they stream over that one. Improving in a purple jacket is Flamingo Lane as they make the next left-handed turn. Flamingo Lane moves into second ahead of Bell Ringer. And then after these in hoops, we've got Impulsive Act as they make the left-hand turn down the far side. Uh, keeping this one company is Glassy Lawn and Just Jerry and RTM as they move across the back again with East Wing, two or three lengths in front of Dipsophobia, and then Hall Garth, a few lengths in front of Erica's Dream and Good Rhythm as they take number 11. Artiero made a mistake there, and in last position still we have Secret Pattern as they run down the far side for the second of three occasions. Alan Gear from Flamingo Lane. Flamingo Lane, who likes the front run, but didn't run front run for the first circuit, within two lengths of the leader now. Taking it in third place, Bell Ringer in front of Impulsive Act. Just Jerry and Glassy Lawn on the inside. Still part wide, East Wing and Tom Strawson as they make the run towards number 13. And picking one or two off there is Hall Garth in maroon and pale blue from Dipsophobia after these. And then Artiero, who's dropped back a bit. So they move on now towards number 13. This will be the last next time around. And as they race up towards it this time around, we continue to have Alan Gear from Flamingo Lane. Alan Gear over in front. Uh, Flamingo Lane taking it in second. And down there was East Wing. East Wing was a faller at fence number 13.
13, horse up quickly, so too the rider, as they swing left-handed past the bookmakers, and head on round now towards the 14th. Alan Gear with the advantage, leads by two lengths to Flamingo Lane, and Christopher Ness in second. Bell Ringer chased along in third, Glassy Lawn very handy in fourth, to Just Jerry in fifth. Artiero on the outside in sixth. Then after these we have Impulsive Hack, followed through by a pushed along Dipsophobia, Hall Garth. Artiero didn't corner well. Good Rhythm is chased along, Secret Rhythm a long way adrift, and Erica's Dream has been pulled up. Going now towards the 14th. Alan Gear over in front to Flamingo Lane in second place. Glassy Long was a little bit slow there, and a mistake back in the field by Hall Garth over the ditch. Alan Gear straight with the ditch that time, took it with a lead of two lengths. As they swing right handed, two in second place, Flamingo Lane. Pulled up there was Secret Pattern. As they move on now around this left-handed turn towards the 16th, Good Rhythm is tailing off. One by one they're being picked off. Flamingo Lane challenging Alan Gear at that one. With a mistake in third by Just Jerry. Glassy Lawn is getting closer. Impulsive Act has a shout. Bell Ringer is pushed along under pressure. As they continue the run away from us towards the fourth last. Uh, Dipsophobia's got plenty of work on from there. But Flamingo Lane appears to jump to the front there with Alan Gear. There's not a lot between them. It's still just about Alan Gear on the turn. As they swing left-handed and race round towards a final set of three fences. Uh, Flamingo Lane is in second place. After these in third place then, we've got Glassy. Lawn in third place we've got Impulsive Act. Glassy Lawn is in fourth place on the inside, nearly third place. The green and maroon cap for the favourite Glassy Lawn as they run towards the third last. Alan Gear still about just in front. Two in second place, Flamingo Lane. Challenges in behind though. Here comes Impulsive Act and Philip Armson towards the inside. Glassy Lawn in fourth place as they race on down towards two out. Alan Gear with the initiative on the inside of Flamingo Lane. Two lengths then to Impulsive Act and Glassy Lawn as they jump the second last. Sam Cloak having a good spin here on Alan Gear leads by a length but impulsive act and Phil Armson really chasing down now as they race towards the 20th and final fence. Alan Gear still just about in front by two lengths, two in second place impulsive act. After these in third place then Flamingo Lane, Glassy Lawn with plenty on there for favourite backers as they run towards the 20th and last Alan Gear and impulsive act, these two are duelling as they race towards the 20th and final fence. Alan Gear on the outside, impulsive act on the inside impulsive act and Alan Gear they race up the hill Alan Gear on the inside, impulsive Impulsive Act on the outside, not much in this. Impulsive Act pulling out all the stops here, leads by two lengths in the run to the line. Impulsive Act to Alan Gear from the gods after those glassy law, but as they race towards the pulse, Impulsive Act! Impulsive Act very close for second, Alan Gear and Glassy Lord ahead of Flamingo Lane in fourth, then just Jerry fighting it out then for fifth place with Bell Ringer, and they appear to be the only ones across the line in the final race in 2000.